Once you've logged in, you are going to be on the archive gallery page. If you're not on the archive gallery page, click on archive and you'll be redirected to the archive gallery page. For this tutorial, archive and stock function the same way when it comes to uploading and importing images into the system. We're going to start out with going to the system pull down and clicking on the production tab. All right, this is going to take you to the archive production page. What you're going to do from here is click on the import button and a little applet is going to pop up prompting you to trust and you can go ahead and trust away and in just a moment a little box is going to pop up right here okay so in this box you are going to drag and drop a folder of images or more than one folder of images into the center of the box and click the send button so your images should be in 700 pixels at the longest dimension and in srgb color profile all right so this area right here shows the folders of images that you have uploaded into the system go ahead and click on that box and a little check mark will pop up and once you've done that you're going to click import and the system is converting your images and here you go your images have been imported all right so I'm going to show you what this looks like on the archive home page also known as the archive gallery page which shows your entire collection of images that you have uploaded all right so now what i want to do is show you how to make an image that is viewable in your stock module for stock users to see all right so say i want to choose this image i'm going to go to the system pull down menu and click on the production button this is going to take me back to the archive production page and i'm going to find the image that i wanted to make viewable to my stock users here it is click on it and it's going to be outlined in red i'm going to come over here and click on the little stock button all right then press save done 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 okay great press okay all right now i'm going to show you the difference between your archive gallery and your stock gallery so go back up to archive click on archive and here is your entire collection of images and then I'm going to click on stock and there is the image that you made viewable to your stock users this concludes uploading images into stock and archive